This is going to show you how I become a J-1 teacher here in the United States of America. This is a process I took in the year 2018 all the way till 2019 in order for me to get here in the U.S. There are steps and I'm going to tell you about it. So let's dive in and let the journey begin. <music> Emery. I am a previous school teacher here in the United States of America. This is the step-by-step -step process I took in order for me to become an international teacher here in the U.S. There are six things in order for me to have this journey. First, I did my research. Second, I apply. Third, I connect. Fourth, I communicate. Fifth, I did a process. And six, success. Being a J-1 teacher is my American dream and what a relief I have when I took the process from step one to step six. It's not easy but it's a relief that you're gonna be finding if you had all of the hurdles, all of the challenges that you have achieved and finally stepping here in the land of the free which is the United States of America. The most challenging part of me doing the processing is not just taking the job interviews but also doing the visa interview. It's a nerve-wracking but if you know that you have all the files and the papers, for sure you are going to be fine. I felt so relieved when I finally had all my documents ready. I successfully submitted all the requirements needed and know that I am moving forward with my visa application. So for those of you who wish to achieve your American dream and visit here in the United States of America and you are needing a hassle-free visa application process, I would really recommend to check out Filipino Visa. Filipino Visa can bring the same relief and peace of mind when it comes to visa processing application. Know that with Filipino visa, you will be guided by experts and you will be provided with premium service. That journey with you through documentation process up to assisting with you with your flight and booking with tickets and hotels. If US is your desired destination for vacation or for any other visa application, I would highly recommend Filipino Visa. Speaking of visa application, teachers that are aspiring to go here in the United States of America, if you wanted to become a J-1 teacher just like me, you need to know the details. Research is the key. In the year 2018, I asked for my friends who already processed their papers in the United States as a J-1 teacher and they were eager to give me a little bit of information. So what I did was I really learned a lot through connecting, asking with them regarding the processing and who to go, who to ask, and the email address that is needed in order for me to connect with the agency that they are referring to. I applied in the year 2018, that was September, but then the agency that was still in the local area says that I need to wait a little bit of time because they are already starting the school year. So I would rather have the visa application and the processing in 2019. But the good thing is my name is already listed that I am very interested to become a J1 teacher connect they were able to connect me to one of the interviewing panel which is the local one and i do believe it's in bakalad and they were able to ask me for an interview i set time with them they asked me more about questions on classroom management and any other things about teaching communication communication is key in order for you to do the best to speak in English. I know that our aspiration is to become a J1 teacher here 
or an H1B teacher, it depends on you. But based on my experience, I was told that you have to listen to English radios or English television that are always speaking in English language. That way you will be honed and you will mimic them in order for you to at least become spontaneous with your English language. Process. The process wasn't easy but I was able to pass the first interview locally and then after three days that was I believe in March 2019 they were able to connect me to the owner of the agency that is handling my papers in order for me to move forward with the process. I vividly remember it was 12 a.m. in the Philippines and it was 10 a.m. in Arizona because the agency was in Arizona, USA. She asked me specific questions regarding my intention as a J1 teacher, how do I do my classroom management, what are the success that I have had, what are the problems I have in the classroom that I was able to overcome. That interview lasted six to seven, eight minutes, even though I'm so tired, but I really, really put my effort and just like have casual talks. Don't be nervous, put a lot of papers in front of you, pray, and if this is along with the will of God, then you will be granted with whatever prayers you have in mind. After a few days, that international interview with the agency that I have had with the J1 says that I pass the local test, I pass their agency test, so I can move forward with the training. With the training, I need to pay something up front and we went to the hotel in Bacolod because that's where they had a little bit of convention in order for us to really know who are the aspiring teachers and what are the step-by-step -step process, what are the things we have to do. Then after that, I gave the agency money, they call it first trench, in order for me to process just like my NBI, my fingerprints that has to be sent to New Mexico or Arizona and other affiliated states that the agency was able to communicate with to send aspiring teachers from the Philippines to teach in the U.S. through the J-1 visa. After that, I was able to give them the money. I don't have my loans yet during the time. I really make sure that I have a little bit of money prior to really putting a lot of PLIs or personal loans through the bank because as I was told by my friend who is already teaching in the US, she spent 700 pesos to a million pesos in the process. I did my fingerprinting, I had the certificate that says I work with the agency, I signed the papers there, I need to pay them the second tranche, third tranche in order for me to finish with the process. Then in June 12, 2019, that's Independence Day in the Philippines, I received a phone call saying that I will have an interview during the time. I am so nervous, but I'm telling myself, Emery, this is your first and only interview with the principal. Grab the opportunity because this is your dream and your American dream will really become into reality if you put the effort. So I prayed, I had a Zoom meeting with her, and I'm so thankful that when it comes to the questions, it's just like casual questions because that principal is really needing help for her charter school. I will not recommend you to go to a charter school because it's like a private slash public school. But during the time, nobody interviewed me, only that principal, so I grabbed the chance. Then I was given the job offer that says, you're gonna be teaching in the United States of America in Florida. I had fear because my friends were hired in New Mexico and Arizona and my teaching certificate given to me with all the processing is in Arizona and New Mexico. But then the principal says, no worries about it. You can take the exams here and all. As long as you have the job offer, go to the visa processing. When it comes to the visa processing, I have my agency again, and they had me with the process. They gave me the information. I gave them the second tranche. 
that is the payment for me to proceed with the process then after that i was told to resign because by july it's the start of the school year and in order for me to have all the processing i have to fly to manila to do the visa interview i was able to had the pli that time which is the private lending institution loans and all the processes is not smooth at all it's very nerve-wracking because i already resigned but i said to myself this is my dream even though during that time i'm already a teacher three and have a high salary but then i told myself going to america is really my dream come true so this is it i'll grab the chance i'll take chances and let's proceed with the visa interview i had my friends we did put our money together for a hotel which we call it shipped in in order for us to lessen the cost we are in the same agency we paid for the agency we even not told our banks that we have loans there for us to go to america after our interview so there are a lot of things going on but here's the thing if you have your ds 2019 you just have to stick with it if you have the time pray practice and look at the mirror like think of the immigration officer or the consulate that he is just like your good casual friend so speak nicely listen very well what's the question that's the answer you don't need to add anything or else you're gonna be denied i have a friend who got denied even though she already got a job offer because her expertise is not aligned with the job offer she has but then the second time she had the interview she explained that it is aligned even though the there are variations or it varies a little bit but it's still aligned to it so she got her visa approved on the second time with me i got it on the first time i can't afford to have a second time interview with the immigration or consulate with a visa embassy because i already paid just once i already resigned so it's a lot of things but then the success in a fateful day after that we did our cfo we processed everything it's my first international flight to the united states of america i went all by myself flight solo but again i prayed to the lord and i told myself Lord God, thank you for all the blessings. Thank you for all the struggles. Thank you for the debts I have in the Philippines, but this will be all paid when it comes to efforts of teaching here in the US. So in the fateful day of August 15, 2019, I was able to fly from Manila to Taipei, Taipei to San Francisco, California, San Francisco, California to Fort Lauderdale, Florida, and then i was fetched by the son of my principal and that's it i've had a very long flight very fulfilling though and i'm so thankful that my process even though not smooth but it went very well by the grace of the lord so if i were you if you have an american dream i would really suggest for you to have someone who is very expert enough to lead you with your processing please go and visit filipino visa i'm gonna put the link on the description that way you'll also be guided with experts and people that will help you with your american dream thank you so much and you have a great day see you in my next video god bless